Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, the undefeated pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Presenting the two-time world champion and reigning WBC super featherweight champion of the world, Genaro Chicanito. So unencumbered by doubt is young Mayweather that just like the champion that patch for now, old man, but I've got mine already on my trunks for when the bout is concluded. That's, that's Eric. Jay Nady calling it a slip, not a knockdown. But it was a slip. But he's got to be careful. He may be slipping like that all night. But don't have them. Rest assured, we'll look at the slip again between rounds. Hard right hand of the body by Gennaro Hernandez. Mayweather gets it. Of Hernandez, then he slips back over. And Another slip. he says this is a slip also. So both fighters have been down in the first round, but neither gets credit for a knockdown. One good slip deserves another. I see blue shoot. shoot. Little left hook from Hernandez inside and Mayweather he uses the front end of his left foot and really twists it left and right. He does it just like he's walking down the street. There's no strain. Generally, it takes years to get a fighter to do the things that he's doing. So he's he does he's them relaxed, naturally. He's relaxed in the ring for yeah, his age. It's like a walk down the street. Train natural guys like that. Don't know what to tell him. The fighter was busy in the first round, and Hernandez threw only 27 punches, and now they both go to the canvas. Second time to the canvas for each, and still no knockdowns in the bout. We can't do that anymore. I know this rush is part of the game. Landing from outside with his jab, and got in a right. Left jab. Mayweather's going up and down. Interesting that we've seen Hernandez going forward on so many occasions. He's going to have to come to me. Gennaro's crossed himself up in the first two rounds. Yeah, well, you see, Hernandez is very frustrated. He's the one leaping happen. With this kind of fighter, if you're not doing anything, keep your left jab moving. Make him stop and think. Yeah, Floyd Mayweather's having a rousing second round as he takes advantage of Gennaro. It makes a difference. Sandy Sadlin, Willie Pep. Good left hook to the body for Gennaro Hernandez to begin the third round. In the second round, Hernandez... And he, he allows Mayweather to get on his feet. He's flat-footed here. Well, you don't want a fast fighter to do that. The speed plus... Three rounds, Gennaro Hernandez's corner told the fighter, you've lost both of the first two rounds. Hard yeah. left hook upstairs by Gennaro Hernandez. That's the count. And the two of them make no secret of the fact that they often disagree functioning as a cut man tonight for the Mayweathers is one of the rising training talents in the sport. Just kind of let them go, even in the corner. Don't tell them too much. Four of 26 jabs through three rounds. Mayweather, 33 of 58. It's a wipeout. Something afterwards. Go grab his head. combinations by throwing punches from odd or more awkward angles. But Mayweather comes right up the middle with an assault. Mayweather is getting bolder. He probably doesn't feel that Hernandez can hurt him. He's willing to do more exchanging and stay closer to him. Yeah, he's working that pocket now. Whenever the... Hernandez has a habit as the rounds go by of eventually backing up and putting his back against the ropes. Four, five or six rounds, you won't have anything left. That's why I say he's the best natural fighter around, because he... That's what you want to do. Make him exercise that side of his body that he doesn't train. And that left side sometimes can be a weak side because you don't train in the gym to throw punches from that angle. It'll burn you out. Now he decided to stop. Oh, what a vicious uppercut by Floyd Mayweather. And Hernandez has backed up against the ropes just as Floyd told us he would. And Floyd going to work. Hernandez better get his back off the ropes in a hurry. Well, he's trying to say, this guy inexperienced. I'm going to let him throw a lot of shots, and I'm going to get him. Well, nothing else has worked so far, George. So this may be an act of desperation. But now Mayweather should step around the side. Don't just stand in front of him. Do the same thing, but from the side. 
combination against Floyd. And Mayweather goes back to work in the middle of the ring. Far by young Floyd Mayweather. Well, the thing about Mayweather, you are the challenger. So when a guy gets into the rope, you got to do something. This is your chance. You can't allow him to just lay on the rope and not do anything. But he's, he's not leaving himself open in that posture, which is the most impressive thing, because that's what Hernandez is looking for. Hernandez manages to land a right hand over the top. Floyd Mayweather comes back with another thunderous uppercut. I mean, Diaz has world champion Eric Morales on his training roster, and here he is working as a cut man. You see, they love the sport. Now Mayweather's starting to connect upstairs with combinations. Goes back to the ropes again. Boy, he's like a cat. He sees an opening, think you're not, I'm far away from you, then he takes advantage of it. The one thing he hasn't done yet is to focus between the guard of Gennaro Hernandez. Don't hold his head. Sometimes Sorry, the referee quick. tells you not to hold his head, but when these guys well, following him around. Really Hernandez nice. understands the situation he's in, and he has to make the fight. Well, there's a way of charging him, but not following him. You go on his left side and make him go in the opposite direction. Don't just follow him around while he's stepping to his left. Well, there's no quit in Gennaro Hernandez tonight. Willing to stick his head into the middle of the meat grinder against Floyd Mayweather and try to find something to do. Another brilliant right uppercut by Mayweather, and Hernandez just keeps coming. Gennaro Hernandez showing his champion's will as he tries anything and everything to change the bout against the classy Mayweather. Mayweather was able to get his right hand to the side first time. Left hook, right uppercut, smashing stuff. Right hand lands for Hernandez. Floyd comes back with a one, two, three, four, five, six. Six punch combination. Two counter punchers trying to lead, fight each other toe to toe. Gennaro's taking a lot of leather. That's what this challenger want to do. Sway the judges. Take the fight to him. Mix it up every now and then. Do everything that's run out. That's when you need a real expert corner. Swelling around the right eye of Hernandez and maybe just a trickle of blood at the outside edge of the eyelid. Don't follow him around, Hernandez. Cut him off and make him go to his right. I'm not sure what that's about. You heard Rudy say over and over last round. So he may be saying to him, you, you must make it here or we're going to get out of here. Let's ask interpreter Ray Torres. Ray, what was that conversation in Hernandez's corner about? That's true. They, they, they seem that they're so far behind. He's getting beat up. He just might only go this round. They, they're thinking about stopping the fight. That's what I believe. And, and the uh, cut above the right eye of Hernandez to the outside of the right eye, referee Jay Nady indicated to me via a signal that that came from a punch, not a butt. Good left hook by Hernandez. The Mayweather kid is not backing up. But you're seeing that the thoroughbred in him come out right here. <laughs> now he's using his jab, Hernandez is looking and throwing. Hernandez lands a hard left hand as he comes off the ropes. Mayweather momentarily lost his balance, but regained it without touching a glove to the canvas. Boy, he's taking some hard shots, Hernandez, this time. Maybe more hard shots than his brother wants him to take at this stage. And to the younger opponent. He's in a difficult territory, it's new territory. Don't back up and give him courage. Take it to him. Well, when you need to fire and you don't, it's often because you don't like what's coming back. Amen. Every old fighter, sometimes along the way, is going to run into a young, strong, quick, ambitious young guy 
trying to take everything away from him. Well, That's what's happening here. In boxing, you're not going to run into many Mayweather young type fighters. Believe me, this guy is something special. I think that Hernandez may be finding himself being caught too many times. This guy's not putting him away, but he's giving him such punishing blows that if you got a corner, you may want to wonder if you want your fighter to just be beaten up you pillow to post. Down to the body. You think you want a champion wants to give up his title on the stool, or does he just recognize the reality? Sometimes your life is a little more important than a title belt, and this guy's hitting him. That's when it's the corner's job to show that right in the pattern. That's right. And of course, that's complicated here because Rudy is Gennaro's brother. Somebody in there is saying that's it. Yeah, stop Rudy is going to turn to referee Jay Nady and say that's enough. Is that the end of the game? Your brother says Rudy Hernandez stops the fight. And I think that was courageous. You need sometimes a brother who loves you, care about you. Angelo Dundee said, I'm the chief corner man, stop the fight. He wasn't going to let Larry Holmes punish him Mohammed anymore. So I think that was a great move. Lloyd Mayweather, tears of joy. His brother, or rather his uncle, Jeff, and his father, Floyd Sr., both rushed to the middle of the ring to him. Referee Jay Nady calls an end to the bout, the official time. At the end of round eight, the winner by knockout victory in this, his 18th professional bout, his 14th KO. He is now the undefeated WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World. Pretty boy, Lord, man.